Day 14, our final full day in the park, and we are going to sample the food and wine festival at Epcot. Good morning and welcome your highnesses. I'm Dan and you're watching Walt Disney World Adults Only. And you are? David. And what are they watching? Walt Disney World Adults Only. Today is our last full day in the parks and we're gonna to go to Epcot. Um, we've got no dining reservations today at all. Deliberately so we can go and try <laughs> the food and wine festival. We've done nothing so far, have we? We've had a pineapple wine. <laughs> we've had two drinks. We've had a couple it. of ciders. Uh, we've had a margarita, um, but none, no, none of the food, and that's really bad because I love the food and wine festival so much. So we've cancelled our reservations. We're going to head over there. We've got a genie plus for Remy's Ratatouille adventure, and I'm going to try and get Guardians of the Galaxy uh, at 1 p.m. We need to save the galaxy one more time. I feel. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, I want because I'm more interested in seeing what song we're gonna get on it. Yeah, hopefully we get that same one that I kept singing for about no, a week afterwards. No. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go and do that. Uh, we have got a check-in for our flight later on, so we're gonna do that while we're there. Got an alarm set, haven't we? Uh, and other than that, we're just gonna go and check out the things we haven't done. I want to see Voices of Liberty. You want to see the Seas Pavilion. I'm gonna make him do Figment. Definitely, and I'm also going to try and check out the DVC members lounge at Epcot as well uh, Where you can get some complimentary drinks. I've not been in there yet So I'd like to go and see what that's all about. So uh, we'll do that while we're at Figment, shall we? Yeah, right. We're gonna go and get the monorail. We'll see you at Epcot Epcot Thank you very much Merci beaucoup Monsieur Thank you very much What's in here? That's very sweet, isn't it? Oh my goodness, this is made out of chocolate. It's um, a, one of the chocolate sculptures by the Grand Floridian Bakery. Look at that, look at the detail. <laughs> that wouldn't last five minutes in our house, would it? And I love the detail in the flooring. Look, here we've got Peter Pan, Wendy, and what's this kid here called? Oh, they're both here. John and Michael, isn't it? Yes. John and Michael, Wendy Darling. Michael's the cute little baby. Thank you. 
So we took the monorail from the Grand Floridian to the Ticket and Transportation Centre, changed from Epcot monorail. We've been here, we've been on Spaceship Earth already, haven't we? Yeah. And we've made our first stop in the World Showcase for the Food and Wine Festival. And we have got the three cheese beignet from France. Yeah. And we've got the mimosa which comes with orange juice and a strawberry rose syrup. So we're gonna give this a little try now. Mm, is it good? Mm. A bit salty. Yeah. Nice. Let me try it back over here. Very nice. Oh my god, that's really nice. Yeah. It's really cheese. It's so much cheese. It's a bit peppery as well. It's really nice. I love that. Mm. So the beignet that we just had was six bucks, and the strawberry rose mimosa is eight ninety five. So let's see what that tastes like. So sparkling wine, orange juice, and a strawberry rose syrup. Nice. So nice. Is it? It's very nice. Oh wow, isn't it? You really get the rose flavour. I love rose flavour anyway, it's one of my favourite flavours. I love Turkish Shalai and I love rose and lavender, violet creams you get back at home. This is really good. Oh, very, very nice. Our next stop was Brazil, and we've got the Peio de Quijo cheese bread, which is 4 75 You get two for your money, and David, go ahead and try it first. No, you're not like nice. it. It's nice? Mm. What's it taste like? Just, just, a bready just, cheese, just bread literally cheese. just a bready cheese. Is it a soft cheese in it or is it, um, is that cheese? It's just like a cheddar in there. Oh, I, don't, I doubt it's, it's cheddar, it's Brazilian, so I doubt it's cheddar. So the Brazilian cheese bread was really nice. It was um, quite a, a kind of a, like a kind of tough bread to bite into. Once you got inside, the middle was almost like a kind of mozzarella kind of gooey cheese texture. It wasn't gooey kind of like um, dripping cheese. It was like the kind of the mozzarella one. It's a bit kind of stringy. If you was to pull it apart, it would stretch. Really tasty though, love that. Two down and two really great cheese starts for the day. to the grease stand and we now have the griddled cheese with honey and pistachios. We then have the spinach pie uh, which I can't pronounce, let me just check how you say it one second. Uh, it's Spanakopita. Spanakopita. Spanakopita uh, which is a spinach pie. We've got two of those. Uh, that is a portion and then we got the wine flight. So the griddled cheese was 475. The spanner copita was 475. And the wine flight was a really, really good value at $6.50. Which I think is okay for three different wines. It's very hot. How's it look inside? Pretty nice, it's kind of got like a um, like a feta cheese kind of flavour with spinach. There's a little bit, a little bit of onion, and it's a really flaky phyllo pastry. It's really light, really hot. Um, yeah, really nice. I really like it. Are you gonna try it? It's a little what? A drink of that. Very good. It's like a, 
a spinach and feta puff pastry samosa. Samosa? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I need Yeah, good. This is a uh, griddled cheese with honey and pistachio. Oh, it's dripping the honey. Pistachio's quite strong. Whatever this is, pistachio. it's nice. Hmm, try them. Do you like that? Mm. We have, we have, we have Yeah, <laughs> I really love that. Now I'm good. Now, now I'm it's good. got a little bit of a rubbery kind of texture to it. It's really nice. <laughs> it's got a kind of rubbery texture to it. It's really nice. The honey also gives it quite a bit of sweetness, and then the nut gives it a kind of almost like a, almost like a marzipan-y kind of flavour. It kind of lifts the, the flavour of the cheese. Okay, so we're about to taste the wine flight. We've earned ourselves an extra glass of the red because the nice ladies next to us um, didn't want it. So they saw that we were making a video, so we were like, here, have ours so you can do a cheers. 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 That's actually really nice. Very dry, but very nice. Speed, I wasn't expecting that taste at this time in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's nearly half past 12, come on. Is it really? Yeah. We can have wine at this oh, time of day. Fine, hey, do you want to try the rosé next? The Zoe, Zoe rosé. You want to try it? No, you try first. That's what you think. You're not really the biggest... Rose fan, are you? It's fine, it's very subtle. Yeah. Thank you. It kind of tastes a bit like bathroom soap. Well, that's really you know nice. I mean? Yeah, yeah, I really like that rose. That's really nice. That's and very then good. The white. The white. These glasses are so cute, aren't they? Yeah. It's quite subtle too. What kind of wine is it? Is it a dry or is it a sweet or is it a medium? No, it's a dry. It's a dry. Yeah, that's a little bit like um, Sauvignon Blanc, isn't it? A little Sauvignon you taste in. Yeah. They're all nice. Yeah, they're all very nice. Which is your favourite of the three? This one. You like the red one the best? Yeah. I like the rosé the best. It's very fresh, very fruity. A bit like yourself. What have you got? I have got the Citron Grey Goose Slush from uh, Vindaf Vindafrost, I think it's called. Fourteen fifty, and it's so good. I thought you were nice. so good, isn't it? Mm. This is mine. <laughs> then you can share it. We can try the orange one this afternoon as well if you want. Mm. Right, should we to Figment? Yes. Are you excited for Figment? No, I don't know what it is. So it's bang on 1 pm and we just joined the virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Our estimated wait time is 360 minutes, so hopefully we'll be called around 7 p.m. it says, so that's quite good. Quite excited for that one last chance to save the galaxy. We'll be quite drunk by then as well, I'd imagine, so we can do yeah. some more dancing on it. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, for now, we're going to go and check out Figment. Um, and as I said before, we're going to try and get into that DVC members lounge. So if we get in, we'll show you around. Special drive through of the 
Hello, on your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Hello? Hello? Who is this? It's figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fence. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to say. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll. Woo! You win one cent. Baby, where are we going now? Disney Vacation Club Lounge. Looks cool, doesn't it? We're actually inside the pyramid. Hello. Hello. Hi. So they have like tea, coffee, and cocoa machine there. They've got a couple of uh, freestyle machines where you can mix up everything you like. They've got some snacks, some Doritos, and some pretzels there. It's quite cool. First time up in the lounge. So David, what did you think of Journey into Imagination with Figment? Lost for words. <laughs> did you like it? It's the most... What is it? I don't understand what it is. It's... A journey into your imagination. It's really not. No? Oh, it does. It's just awful. Did you like Figment? No. Carol and Steph love Figment. I, just, I, don't, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I was just sitting on the ride, just going around thinking, what am I doing here? Yeah. It was worse than, um, what was the other ride we did the other day that was really bad? The Country Bears? Yeah, it's worse than that. Really? And I can't believe I actually said that yet. Worse than the Country it's Bears? It's worse than the Country Bears. Yeah. And I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> what do you think of the DVC Members Lounge? Yeah, it's nice. I could quite happily fall asleep. It's quite, it's quite basic, isn't it? But it's access to free drinks and snacks. It's yeah, air cool. conditioned, there's some charging points. Some nice so little seats to chill out and relax. Mm. Escape the madness of the parks. Yeah, it's nice and calm in here. Mine! Mine!
refreshed from the Seas Pavilion. We saw lots and lots of sea life. And now we're waiting to go and see Awesome Planet in the Land Pavilion. It's a show I've always seen for quite a long time, but I've never got round to. David, what did you think of the Seas Pavilion? Yeah, it was good. Like seeing all the fish and the manatees. What about the Finding Nemo ride? Oh yeah, that was good actually. You like that? Yeah, I thought that was done pretty well. Hang on, hang on. It's still under construction, but it has plenty of potential and its value will only increase over time. Look what four million years of remodeling did for the place. Nice, huh? And this thing was built to last. Altogether, this is one unique and awesome planet. Come on, let me show you around. There are lots of neighborhoods to choose from. By the way, we call them biomes, and they're all great places to live. And if water is your thing, you'll be in good company. Not only with the folks who live along the coasts and waterways, but also with the fish and creatures that live under the sea. Now, if you're looking for the coolest neighborhoods, try the poles, north or south, take your pick. Oh, and both poles come with built-in ice makers. Full disclosure, things are changing in the marketplace. Temperatures are becoming more extreme with record freezes. Increased heat waves and droughts too. Well, it's been a quick tour, but hopefully you're sold now on this dream home called Earth. And that's good, because as far as we've searched throughout the universe, we've never found another place that can support life. So, I've just been to the Noodle Exchange, picked up a cheeky little Thai shrimp coconut curry. So, let's see what it tastes like. Has that actually got that whole, is it coconut in it or is that mushroom? No, that's mushroom. That's mushroom. Noodles. Yeah. I guess uh, spring onion and shrimp. Can we give you some chopsticks as well? Yeah, well I picked them up. How's that? Oh yeah, it's good. It's got quite a kick to it. Oh dear. That didn't stand a chance, did it? Nice? Shrimp's good. Oh, good. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we've been to the India booth now and we got Pretty much everything in terms of food and a couple of drinks. We got the chicken tikka masala, the crispy paneer, the potato and pea samosa, the Taj Mahal lager, and a mango lassi drink. Let's start with the paneer. It comes with a mango chutney, a mango ketchup. It's chutney. a mango ketchup like chutney. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Mm, good. The ketchup's nice. So these are the crispy paneer and this is the mango ketchup chutney. So I'm going to try one of these now. I don't love that, but it's okay. The um, breadcrumbs are crispy, the cheese is nice and kind of um, springy, as you can see. It's got quite a nice texture. It's a little bit of an odd spice for me. I think it's the ketchup rather than the paneer though, but let me have another go. It's okay. I'm not the greatest fan though. How's the beer? It's got a slightly different taste, but it's, it's fine. It's just, just like a normal beer. Yeah. Yeah, nothing particularly nothing special. Different. Let me try the mango lassi. Look at that. Uh, I've had it a couple times and I it's, it's different. It's another oh. one that's weird. That's very um, sweet. Because you I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of got like um I'm trying to think what the what the what the flavour is. It's kind of got like a cardamom kind of flavour to it, kind of mango and cream with a hint of cardamom. It's really nice, but very sweet. And it's quite a thick consistency, almost like drinking yogurt, um, but not quite. It's kind of between a 
the milk and the yogurt is it's quite a thick consistency. Hang on. Should we try, try the pea and potato samosa now? Yeah. We've got two of these, um, which is quite good value for money. So inside you can see there's some pea and potato and some spices in there as well, I would imagine. Let me get a little bit of that filling out. It's not very ladylike, is it? This. Do you like that? Is that hot? Yeah. They were one of the booths I was out there waiting. You don't, do you? Food, so she started striking up a conversation. The pastry is a little bit um, dry texture. These are like. These are more like um, oven baked. Pun no, Punjabi samosas rather than normally samosas the normal. are fried, right? These are fried. It's just a different Punjabi samosas are different batter, right? Mix. Yeah, they're a little bit drier, but it's a really nice spice. It's a nice flavour. I couldn't taste the pea particularly, um, but pea isn't an overwhelming flavour. It's a more subtle flavour. But yeah, the potato. There's a curry spice to it. Very very nice. It's okay, the, the mix inside is a bit slushy. Do you think? Yeah, oh, rather I... than actually having nice boiled potato inside or something like that, it should, but it's okay. So you're trying the okay. chicken tikka masala? What's in there? Chicken and... Just some rice, some naan bread. Straight in. Mm. It's okay. Yeah? Mm hmm. Just okay? I wouldn't say it's very chicken tikka masala though. Is it very spicy? No, not no. at all. So, overall, what are your thoughts on the Indian booth? Not great. Why? Just like the paneer, for example, I think they've mixed in curry powder with the breadcrumbs, which you don't need. Like, you don't need to add a curry flavour to paneer, like, it's fine. Like, paneer's nice on its own. If you'd have just breadcrumbed it, fried it, and then yeah. just served it with the mango, it would have been perfect. Yeah, that is an acquired taste, so after I had a couple of those, I did actually start to quite like it. Food always comes to those who love to cook, but not to those who are ready to dinner. <laughs>
I've been to Latisan del Glasses and David's got the mango sorbet with a shot of rum in a martini glass. Quite a big shot. It was a massive shot, wasn't it? He was, he was like really going for it. Yeah. And I have got the croc glass uh, with white chocolate and coconut ice cream and raspberry sauce. Let's see how this tastes. So my croc glass was absolutely delicious. Didn't leave a single bit. It was warm on the outside, cold on the inside. Deliciously sweet with coconut and white chocolate taste and that little tang of raspberry sauce as well. Oh my God, it was amazing. David, how was the mango sorbet with that massive shot of rum? It was lovely. That's my kind of dessert. You're looking a little bit, a little bit. Um, I'm not looking anything like at all. Just ignore him, you're looking, I'm fine. You're looking a little bit tipsy now. I'm ready to go down there and get the next cocktail. Are you? <laughs> if you can hear me because there's a concert on eat to the beat concert on behind me oh it's just stopped anyway i've just been to the funnel cake stand uh, and i've got the pina colada funnel cake nine dollars fifty as soon as i saw the menu i wanted this so here we go we're going in okay that was every bit as good as i expected the funnel cake was piping hot i didn't previously like funnel cake but i love that uh, the ice cream was really cold on the funnel cake. It had a pineapple sauce. It had a rum sauce. Yeah. Whipped cream, a cherry on top. So good. Probably my favorite thing I've eaten from the Food and Wine Festival. As you can see, there is not much left. Okay, so apparently they are the American authors. I've never heard of them before, but I do recognize the songs. I'm not sure if it's their own songs they're singing or if they're covers, but the songs sound really familiar. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on that and I'll let you know if um, if the American authors are yeah, a well-known band. How we oh, they're back on stage Woo! now. Yeah. We're heading to Germany to well, Caramel Kush. And then where are we going after that, David? Guardian. Are oh, we going to go save the galaxy? Save the galaxy. What song do you reckon we're going to get today? And have a dance. Come on, lady, get in line. Yeah. 
because our galaxies were both born of the event which you Terrans refer to as the Big Bang. Our stars are quite similar. Okay, we have saved the galaxy once again. I think we had I Ran because it was a song that neither of us recognised. Uh, and we've gone through the list of songs and eliminated all the others. So I think it must have been I Ran. We're going to have a listen to it when we get back to see if it was. But that concludes our day at Epcot. We've had quite a lot of fun at the Food and Wine Festival today. Quite a few cool rides and experiences and shows. And now it's time to head back to the Grand Floridian and to say goodbye to Epcot for this trip. But we'll be back next year, won't we? Yeah. So sad leaving Epcot. I wouldn't say it's my favourite park, but I do feel very attached to it now. I'm very sad about leaving today, so... Yeah. There might be tears, so I'm going to stop filming now. I don't want you to see David cry. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> And just like that, day 14 is almost over. Our last full day at the parks. And I have to say, it's been another really awesome day. I've absolutely loved it. We've done so much great stuff today. And we're back at the Grand Floridian now. We've had a bite to eat, went to Gasparilla, Island Grill. David got a pepperoni flatbread, a, well, well, a pepperoni flatbread, uh, and I got the blackened chicken sandwich, which was nice. And we are now sitting on our balcony back at the Grand Floridian, stuffing ourselves with that Werther's popcorn that you get from Caramel Kush in the Germany Pavilion. Oh my goodness, it's the best popcorn ever. I'm not going to lie to you, it is insanely good. Anyway, back to today, we had a little bit of a slow start to the day, as you know. We went to Epcot using the monorail. Uh, we spent some time at the Seas Pavilion, we hadn't been there, and David wanted to have a look at the marine life. Uh, what did you think of the Seas Pavilion? Yeah, it was good, except the dolphin. I didn't like the fact that there's dolphins there. But you like the Seas? Yeah, the Nemo, I like that I really like the Nemo ride. Did you? Yeah. I think it's a rubbish ride. Oh. But you like that? Yeah. That's good. One thing we did do today that I've never done before is Awesome Planet, the little show inside the Land Pavilion. I really enjoyed that. You know, it's not, it's not much. It's like a 10 minute theatre video. Like I'm no big Greta Thunberg fan. I'm not a climate change activist. But this stuff does matter and that short video took up a small part of our day and just again reiterated some really important issues about about what needs to happen um, for our planet so but I thought that little awesome planet show was quite good what did you think yeah I liked it yeah it was but good. I like seeing all the like landscape and nature and stuff don't yeah I? you really do so that was really good uh, what else did we do today other than eat I'll come on to the eating in a minute we did Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Yeah, we finished with that. We didn't know the song on it though, so yeah. we couldn't sing as we were going round. That was a little bit annoying because we, we are quite good at singing the songs and dancing. Uh, I don't think our photo's come through yet on PhotoPass for that, has it? We have not seen that yet, that photo. Yeah, we were trying to do a salute, but as always, David stopped doing it too early, so I'm pretty sure that when we get the photo, only I'm going to be saluting, um, but yeah. I did it all the way back along the thing. Yeah, I know, but when the camera was flashing, you weren't doing it. Oh, don't drop your popcorn. In terms of rides, what else did we do today? Oh, we did Journey into Imagination with Figment, which you found to be one of the most bizarre experiences of the trip. It's almost like you've taken drugs, isn't it? Sitting on that ride. It's, it's so surreal. It's just pointless. It's just pointless. Yeah. Anyway, move on. 
<laughs> um, did we do any other rides? Remy's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had a Genie Plus for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. <laughs> I love it. We love the film. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't done Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, that one comes highly recommended by us both. Yep. Yeah, I found it much cuter the second time than the first time doing it again. It was, it yeah. was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and then the main purpose of today was to try some of the Food and Wine Festival booths because we have not done that yet on this trip. So um, today's been a very snacky day. We've had quite a lot of food, quite a lot of drink and alcohol. Um, we will have shown you all the different food that we've had in this vlog. I'm just going to ask you, David, what was your favourite thing that you had today from the Food and Wine? Favourite food and favourite beverage? Oh. Um, favourite beverage is probably the cocktail. The ice lemon that we had from France. That, that actually isn't from the Food and Wine Festival. That's just a normal standard drink that. Oh. Um, but yeah, that, you're talking about the, the Grey Goose Grey goose citron, aren't you? Yeah. That's the slush, that's really nice. That's not really part of the festival, but that was your favourite drink we oh, had today. Yeah. I think, um, I, think, I think our favourite drink we had was that um, mimosa this morning with the rose oh, and the strawberry. Yeah, that was good. That was delicious, wasn't it? <clears throat> yeah, um, that I, was good. I think that was both of our favourite drink. We, we both loved that one. And then probably the beignet that oh, I think. Probably. The beignet with the three cheeses. Yeah, it was probably the best thing we ate. India was really disappointing. India was so disappointing, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So my own favorite things from the Food and Wine Festival, guess what? It was the pina colada mini funnel cake. Even before we came away, I knew that was gonna be my favorite and it was everything I hoped it would be. Oh my goodness, yeah. So if you're coming, go to the little funnel cake stand in the America Pavilion and get that mini funnel cake, pina colada. But yeah, we, we didn't get through the Food and Wine Festival. We had a huge list, but we just couldn't eat or drink anymore, could we? Too much. Too much <coughs> Too much food, wasn't it, today? Mm. As, as you're still sitting there eating popcorn. I oh know, can you take them away from me? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do some packing shortly. And then tomorrow morning, uh, I don't know if you're coming, you might be having a bit of a pool morning before we go home. I don't think I'll have time. Um, but certainly I'm going to Magic Kingdom. David might be coming to Magic Kingdom. So uh, Mia's Connect have emailed us. They're picking us up at one o'clock. Um, so that gives me plenty of Magic Kingdom time in the morning to have a little whiz round. Um, do any last rides I want to do before we go home. <laughs> do a little bit of shopping and say goodbye to the castle. Join us tomorrow for Magic Kingdom and our travel day back home. Um, I can't wait to get home and get that gorgeous little Bichon Freeze. Oh, our beautiful little dog. I know. <laughs> so excited to see him, aren't we? I can't wait to see him. Um, it's gonna be amazing. So uh, yeah, join us tomorrow, Magic Kingdom, then follow us home and get to meet Bruno the Bichon. Now you're not going to want to miss that so make sure you are subscribed with that little notification bell click because that one will be coming out next week and it'll be the last one in the vlog series. We're going to do like a little bit of a wash up video. Make sure you've also given us a big thumbs up. Uh, that helps other people find this video who might be interested in the nonsense that we talk. Uh, but it also helps out our channel as well so please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Click the bell. And until next time, remember, never grow up. We're about to say goodbye to the Magic Kingdom for the last time on this trip. And I feel really, really sad. I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm <laughs> I'm crying. Have you had a good time? The best. It feels lovely to be home, doesn't it?
Hello. <laughs>